Goodness me, what is this hair doing today? It's kind of doing its own thing. Yes, I am. Anyway, hair aside, there's a new update for Illustrator. So we've got a bunch of new features. There's some good, some sort of questionably interesting. And uh, we're gonna just open up that latest version and dive into it now. And then you can let me know in the comments what you think to said new features. <laughs> Okay, so first up we have a vector graphic. Now to do this, I do have to turn on this damn contextual taskbar. <laughs> so I'm gonna select everything first of all, then go to said taskbar and choose the new option, generative expand. You can see these points appear and I can drag this out from either side or even from the corners and it's gonna mark this area with pink. And then once you're happy, simply click generate and Illustrator is going to try and fill this pink area with more of your artwork. And to be fair, if we ignore the road underneath the lake, it's done an okay job. And of course we do get a few versions and we could try and scale this down, but no, okay, clearly that's not gonna happen. So we can go larger, but we can't go smaller. Right, I gotta get rid of this thing now. Let's just go and hide it. <laughs> there we go, much better. Go back to the shadows from whence you came. <laughs> anyway, this next feature is performance improvements to move, rotate and scale. Yep, looks good to me. Also brushes, calligraphic, uh, Let's try that again. Calligraphic and art brushes. Oh dear, that was embarrassing. And uh, we can open up the brush library here. Let's go down and pick some of these. Apparently these have got performance improvements, which is always welcome. Let's pick, nope, don't do that. Let's start with a clean slate and uh, give this a go. Just pop you out the way. Brush tool and nope, that's white. <laughs> Let's pick a color, Dan, that would help. Yep, fantastic. Oh, should have been an artist, wasted talent. Anyway, let's go back a few steps and close down these panels. Right, this next one is kind of cool. So first we're gonna get rid of that fill and press N for the pencil tool. That's N for Nelly, Nelly the elephant. Anyway, let's draw a squiggle and you see it's drawn with a blue line. We don't really get a real time preview. Now let's double click the pencil tool and we, well, first we're gonna crank this slider up and then check the live preview option. Now when we draw, we're not just seeing a blue line, we're actually seeing the drawing happening in real time. And even better, we can check this option as well. And as we draw, I'm just gonna draw a shape here. I'm not entirely sure what this is or where it's going, but if you look closely, hopefully you'll be able to see that the curves are actually changing and connecting. Like here, oh, oh, oh come and get me. Oh, no, too slow. Uh, and there we are, connected. We have a complete shape. Ha, oh, la masterpiece. So what it's doing is it's adjusting the curve to fit the path you're drawing, but it's doing it in real time. So that is a nice addition. Right, for this next one, we're gonna grab the artboard tool. Let's zoom out lots. We can now duplicate artboards by dragging with Alt or Option and then press Command or Control D to repeat that. A much quicker way of creating artboards. And another new feature, if we just delete everything except this, we can now copy all this artwork. And before when you used to select another artboard and click paste in place, it just would paste it on the original artboard or something, it was really annoying. Now just click on an artboard, paste in place, and there you go, it actually does just that, but on the right artboard. Anyway, we can also go to rearrange now. This panel hasn't changed, but when we click okay now, before it would just rearrange our artboards and plonk them somewhere. Now we get to choose where the plonking location is. So I'm gonna pick the center of the workspace and then boom, they're all organized exactly at that point in the workspace. So moving and rearranging artboards en masse just became a lot easier. And just for fun, this isn't really a new feature, but I'm just feeling creative. We're gonna go to edit, recolor. Oh, this just became a tutorial. Generative recolor. Let's try something fun. Let's try, ironically, British misery. Why not? Let's see if that has a color palette. Oh, that is definitely too fun. There we go, much better. Gray, just like our weather. Huh. No, seriously, our weather is terrible. But you know what isn't terrible? My courses for Adobe Illustrator, there is a link below if you'd like a career as a professional designer or you'd just like to explore Adobe Illustrator, unlock its potential and just be as creative as you can possibly be.